with Mark Noble, the West Ham captain, leading out the Hammers in their chain strip of black shirts, white shorts and white socks. And uh, Harry Pell is coming out with the... Oh, my goodness me, there are some, some young mascots being brought out by the Cheltenham Town players. Uh, the uh, goalkeeper, Jonathan Flatt, has got a babe in arms. And now Noble centrally clips it out wide to Byram on that right flank. Byron drills it down the channel. No flag against Ayu, who's away down that right-hand side. Two in the box. Ayu waits, then cuts in field, then waits and shoots low. It goes into the side netting. Flat had it covered as well. And once again, Andre Ayu probably could have done something uh, to pick out Sacco. Purpose. Here's Pell. Stands this up. But right who wins the header and he can't direct it. It's gone through to Adrian, who tries to stop it from going out for a corner and fails. There was a moment there where James Collins looked in trouble. There's an argument between Collins and Adrian about what went wrong. It's Cheltenham's second corner. Yeah, James Collins thinks that Adrian should come and take that, but James Collins just loses the flight of the ball. Here's the second corner in quick succession. Clipped into the box for Ogbonna and off the line by Stora. Comes to Fernandez and uh, he's lost possession. Halfway line. Declan Rice has it on the edge of the centre circle. He's going to bring in James Collins. Cheltenham dropping deeper, Sam. Oh, here's Noble running forward for Sacco, who breaks into the box, shoots low and scores! Diafra Sacco made enough contact on it to beat flat and watch it roll into the net. West Ham break the deadlock here with five and a half minutes of the first half to go. They were pressing and pressing, and finally Sacco got a sight of goal inside the box. Wasn't the sweetest of strikes, but it's in the net, and West Ham lead 1-0. Yeah, very patient from West Ham, they tried, they probed down this left-hand side, it was Declan Rice who actually picked the ball up, played a lovely ball to the right-sided centre-half, Mark Noble picked it up in a nice little position just uh, beyond their midfield four and slid a nice ball down the side for Sacco, he got in, beside, in between the full-back, uh, Cranston and the centre-half, Boyle. Then, of course, it's the international break, so they won't play a home fixture in the Premier League or indeed in any other competition until the middle of next month, here's Sacco sweeping it forward and now Ayu's inside the box and it's going to roll in for number two and it does Andre Ayu this time from a very tight angle rolling it across flat and into the far corner of the goal Sacco this time contributing as well and in the space of two minutes West Ham have taken total control of this cup tie Andre Ayu scores and it's Cheltenham nil, West Ham two just a series of 50-50s really in the middle of the park and West Ham competed uh, stronger and, and better than their Cheltenham counterparts and it was Sacco on this occasion, got turned on the ball, acres of space, could have taken it on by himself, opted to slip it to his right-hand side while Ayu had made another really intelligent run and again the finish isn't an erring, you know, struck into the net, it's the, the angle on the strike, it's the position of the finish right inside that far corner, just creeps over the line 2-0. Cheltenham nil, West Ham two goals in the first half from Diapa Sacco and Andre Ayu. Winchester coming forward for Cheltenham, or having a better spell down the right. Here's a floated delivery. Oh, it might drop to Dawson inside the box. Issa shoots. It comes off Collins, and he stops it from going out for a corner. West Ham were in trouble there, and they just managed to get men back. And two players almost got each other's way. Issa shoots down the throat of Adrian. But there were two Cheltenham players with the ball at their feet. Couldn't work out who was going to strike it. Yeah, Dawson and Issa uh, on the far post. Eventually, Issa sorted his feet out, shifted it inside. Looked like he was just going to try and bend it towards that far post, but James Collins took up a really intelligent position. All time. And West Ham United have done the job here today. Minimum of fuss and bother. Sam and Bilic might have wanted more goals, but the two goals will do. Both of them coming at the end of the first half. Giappa Sacco and Andre Ayew, they have uh, got the job done.